Welcome to this tip presented by the Envision Group. In XM and the V8i release of MicroStation, pen tables can use level wild cards to re-symbolize elements. In this drawing, there are a number of levels that are named fill, land, land secondary, land primary, etc. What I want to accomplish is to define a pen table process that will identify all the levels that start with fill land and re-symbolize those levels. Let's begin by opening the print dialog box. From the print dialog pull down, we're going to go to pen table edit. From the modify pen table dialog box, we're going to go to edit rename section. In the rename section dialog box, I'm going to name this one fill underscore land and hit OK. Now in the level regular expression, this is where you enter the level wild cards to identify the levels. The levels that I want to identify are going to be the ones that have fill underscore L and they'll be the land, land primary, land secondary. But what I want to add here is a dot star which will identify it as a wild card. So it's the dot star that identifies it as a wild card. I'm going to go to the element output section. For this particular process, I want to make sure that the fill is set to on. I want to set the fill color to color 132. And I want to set the screening to 50%. So now what's going to happen is everything that has a fill underscore L will have the element output action applied to it. I'm going to go to File, Save and then close the modify pen table and refresh my pen table and you can see the screen colors have updated in the print dialog box. This concludes our tip on using level wildcards and pen tables. Visit our website envisioncad.com for more tips and resources. Thank you.